And we are back on the showroom floor here at reInvent 2019 in Las Vegas. And I can tell you, it is a, just a buzzing environment here. And now we're going to get into some really serious architecture deep dives. And I'm actually joined by Peter Maguire from uh, EcoFit. That's right. CTO, right? That's right, yeah. How are you enjoying the show? Uh, this is great. This is my first time ever at reInvent. So it's a lot of walking. And I brought some good shoes. I'm happy about that. But I'm having an awesome time. That, you're already doing really well. That's fantastic. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what EcoFit does. Sure. EcoFit uh, does automated asset tracking for the fitness industry. Uh, we put sensors on all of the equipment in the gyms. And we track utilization of that. We do uh, processing at the cloud and generate reports. Uh, which are valuable for our end customers. Um, and that's telling them maybe what they want to buy, how they might want to rotate their equipment. And Riding off finally, a big trend here, right, Peter? Yeah. You, we clearly see you know, Fitbits, everybody wants to know more about their health, yeah. but you're also <laughs> actually solving a problem for the actual clubs yeah. that own the equipment, right? Yeah, it's a, it, it's, it's, it's a niche market, but it's a good one. Everybody wants data. And particularly, these gym chains are, are spending a lot of money on their fitness equipment. To elongate those lives and make better purchasing decisions is going to save them a lot of money. Right. Yeah. Now, I know that you know, speaking with you before, you did a fair bit of development in this space, and you mm -hmm. originally used servers yeah. in a very traditional development we did. method. Yeah, yeah, How we did, did that work out for you? I mean, it, it got us started up, but it really started to fall apart when we started to scale. So when we had 10, 15, 20 facilities in the very early days, OK, fine. 100, 200, 500, we were having problems. Things started to fail, uh, and our ability to go into these monolithic applications we had running, we were on EC2, but we were running these big applications and solving them was really challenging. So we moved, we took the jump, we took the plunge, and we went into serverless. Well, and you know what, Peter? <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, I can't wait. Walk, walk us through it. Sure. So um, you can see here, uh, we're initially, uh, our data comes in from the sensors here and runs uh, to a gateway. So each piece of equipment has a sensor, and that runs to a gateway, and the gateway is running Greengrass. Greengrass. So that's how we do our deployments, and that's how we do all of our maintenance. We have lambdas running on the Greengrass. Yep. And that runs through to uh, two different areas. It runs to IoT Core. Uh, that's for more real-time driving sensor information, uh, data that's going to go into our sensor health, which I'll get to. And it also goes through um, API Gateway, to our utilization lambda, which does the crunching of the numbers to make sure that creates the data that we need in our data lake, in our, in, in our database. So you're using a lot of the IoT services, yeah. things like authentication, oh, yeah. all taken care yeah, of, yeah. certificate security management, which yeah. is fantastic. Don't need to worry about that. It's good, yeah. What is this layer doing up here? OK, so this is just the, this is the installation layer. We have an app that we've created that uh, also consumes data through API Gateway. Uh, from a back end um, using Lambdas. And installers will use this to deploy our systems in the gym. Uh, there's another path that happens here. This is, this is, a, this is an, a, a RESTful interface that actually goes straight to the gateway uh, through a third party server. And that gives the app real time information. So you're no configuring evidence. those sensors up here. Yeah. You're monitoring and getting the utilization. What if some of those go offline? That's the big thing in every IoT system, and particularly in this case. If a sensor goes offline or if a gateway goes offline, it'll happen. It's guaranteed. We need to know about it. Right. And so we will have information driving through IoT Core. It's driving to our sensor health um, lambda. And this is updating to SQS and using that as a queue. If we don't get the information in a certain amount of time from an entire gateway, then we know that gateway is probably down. We have to act on that very quick. So we have notifications going out um, through this is related this is actually SNS, that goes straight to us to tell us there's something wrong with the system. Yeah, and of course, buffering is a big benefit it's of using critical. Greengrass. Yeah. When it comes back online, everything syncs again. That's correct. All right, what's going on over here? Because I see some reporting. Hey, some reporting, and this is the big, big meat of what we deliver to our customers is our reports. So we crunch all the data, we store it in a time series database here, um, and then we consume it out two different ways. One is an automated reporting process that we run with Lambda. You can see it right there. There's our reporting Lambdas. Um, and that generates reports, and it goes out to our portal. The other one is connecting actual BI tools, business yep. intelligence tools, to this database. 
and consuming all of that data and generating offline reports. Great stuff. So all your central you know, source of truth in this database, That's time great. series, uh, you know, you're using serverless everywhere. Yeah. I love it, Peter. Thank yeah. you for coming to share your architecture with no us. No worries. And thank you for joining us on This Is My Architecture Live.